like any other good plumbing procedure, and you're gonna clean out all of the debris and everything that was stuck in there. And that flushing effect is something that can last a long time. Aside from that, we're also opening up distal channels. We're dilating everything. You get dilatation, much like in a dilated cardiomyopathy, where you lose that pump function that we've seen on some live OCT images, where the canal is acting almost like a, like a beating heart pumping fluid forward. And so if you have herniations and constrictions, it's not able to do that. In late disease, once you get pathologic changes, uh, which you can see on histopathology, you know, you start losing that. And so to be able to go in early, which is why I, it's one of my first procedures, because I think there's a huge advantage to doing it early and often, it, it can help restore physiologic outflow. And there is duration effect. There's good evidence behind the duration effect. And we're looking at more evidence uh, to show that there is good duration of effect. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, we. At the moment, there are studies ongoing with NovaRI, which are evaluating it as a not only a standalone, but also a combined procedure compared to FACO alone. And so um, I've had the pleasure of being part of one of the trials, and we look forward to seeing the data that comes from that in due course as well. When we do this earlier, you know, there's a chance that dilating the canal, breaking through those herniations in the ostia, and uh, may have a better effect. And it, it is really the most beautiful example, in my opinion, of benign treatment. If you can pull it off, if you do it early enough, it doesn't get better than that because you're not destroying tissue. I think the best evidence we have is standalone data, right? I mean, that takes away the cataract as a confounder. And I think the key point is more likely about the patient selection part of it, right? I mean, if we're leaving this to a late stage when the yeah. tissue is all fibrotic and we have downstream obstruction, we're probably not going to get the same effect, but if we use it early enough, as you said as well, we're probably going to get more for a bank for our buck. So I, th I think we've already shown, and I think we're all confident that we don't need to actually cut tissue or, or put implants for all patients to get any kind of typical bypass. We can do it by right. rejuvenation process. And it would be the ideal way. Yeah. Right.